Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Take Charge of Your Health, week three. This one is on sweet dreams. As you can imagine, it's about sleep. Um, I want to thank you for those that have watched the last couple of weeks. I apologize for being an hour late today. Um, I had an appointment for our sheep to get sheared this morning, and I just finished in the nick of time for me to come in and do this class. And I tell you what, that was an adventure to try and catch those sheep. They're really quick when they want to be and they think they're being cornered. You really need some strong people. And even the baby one, when I was trying to catch him, put me on the ground. So I will probably feel that tomorrow, but that's okay. We got them sheared. They're happy and they're back to eating because I couldn't feed them um, last night or this morning. So they were pretty hungry. So that's why I'm an hour late. I apologize that I had to move the time today, but from now on, it will be eight o'clock in the morning. <clears throat> so then if you can get it first thing in the morning, you can watch it or you can watch it later on as a replay, whatever you want. So um, I will get pre started with my presentation. I'm going to share my screen. Let's see. And go here. And most of us, um, a lot of us have, oops. I need to, I did not go backwards. I started at the bit. I started, I was reviewing it and I didn't go back to the beginning. There we go. All right. So once again, I want to thank you for joining me in um, my class, my presentation. And this week is on sleep. And I'm going to tell you not just about essential oils, but the health benefits of getting good night's sleep. We often worry about everything we should be doing during the day to maintain good health. We are concerned about getting regular exercise, having a healthy diet, maintaining our emotional health, and dozens of other factors that influence how we feel. However, we often neglect a major part of good health, getting good sleep. For most of us, busy work schedules, demands from our family, and endless to-do lists keep us from getting the rest we need. While the amount of necessary sleep will vary from person to person, experts suggest that adults get between seven and eight hours of sleep per night. Many of us have the best intentions of getting adequate sleep, but it can be hard to get the mind and body to relax after a full day of stress or activity. You may think that the only consequences of losing sleep are feeling tired and cranky the next day. That's me. If I don't get my sleep, I know it. However, sleep deprivation can have a significant impact on our mental and physical health. Without proper sleep, we put ourselves at risk for serious health issues that will impact our quality of life. And I'm going to list some of them. It can make it difficult for us to lose weight or maintain a healthy weight. It can ne negatively, negatively influence our emotions and how we behave throughout the day. It can impact how we learn or influence our motivation levels can have a negative impact on nearly, on nearly any of the body organ systems which influence, influences overall health, can influence our reaction time and ability to drive safely. How many times have we heard in the news, and some of us might even know firsthand how people have fallen asleep at the wheel and gotten in an accident. In fact, I personally know a family member that recently, she wasn't driving, but she was in a vehicle where the driver fell asleep, and she got knocked up. Thankfully, nobody got seriously hurt, but she got bruised and she's feeling it. So just as sleep deprivation can negatively affect how we feel each day, getting quality sleep can help improve our quality of life. For many people, improper sleep is a result of circumstances outside their control. It is difficult to get good rest when you are interrupted by a child or a newborn several times throughout the night, have a job that requires you to work late, or a busy schedule that requires early mornings and late nights. However, if you have tried to tried your best to get good quality sleep and still feel that you can't get your mind or body to quiet down, you might need a little extra help. And you have an option. You can go the uh, medicine route or you can try a natural route. The suggestions on this slide can help those who might need extra help falling asleep or staying asleep at night the natural way. If you are having trouble sleeping, try a few of the following suggestions. Do your best to eat healthy during the day. Believe it or not, nutrition makes a big difference in many, many areas of our life and our health. Create an environment that will promote a good night's rest. Make sure it is dark, not too hot, not too cold, and it's quiet. Try to avoid stimulants like alcohol, nicotine, and caffeine throughout the day, and especially before bed. And if you are a caffeine drinker and you drink 
saying you have a cup of caffeine at two o'clock thinking, oh, I got hours before I go to bed. It won't bother me. But you're finding you're having a hard time quieting down. Try either eliminating the two o'clock or going up a couple hours and see if that makes a difference. Because I know for myself, if I do happen to have caffeine, I can't have it the latest, absolute latest is like 11, 12 o'clock in the morning. After that, I toss and turn all night. Well, not all night, but probably till about one o'clock before I settle down. Make sure that you have adequate bedding. It might be time to buy a new mattress or pillows. Follow a regular exercise routine. Make sure that you don't exercise too close to bedtime or your body might be too exhilarated to sleep. Remove distractors from your bedroom like technology and TV. Try to avoid screens for an hour before bed to help your eyes and mind relax. Relax the body by taking a warm bath or drinking a cup of tea. Non-stimulating, of course. Reset your internal clock by going to bed and waking up the same time every night and morning, even on the nights you don't have to work or do anything on weekends, vacations. I've learned personally that um, no matter what time, what day of the week it is, whether I'm on vacation or the weekends, going to bed for me, it's early for most people, but 830 works good for me because I'm one that needs lots of sleep and I'm up usually by 536. So I'm in bed at 830, nine at the latest if I don't have to work the next morning. And it does make a difference. If you keep your body on a regular routine, I mean, you don't have to go to bed that early, but um, just stay the same schedule every day, no matter what you're doing the next day. It does make a difference. In addition to all these methods, there are countless home remedies and unique approaches that claim to help with sleep. However, essential oils provide a simple yet effective way to create a relaxing environment and promote quality sleep. Each individual has different needs and preferences when it comes to sleeping, and the variety of essential oils allows the user to find an oil that works for them personally. When it comes to getting quality, consistent sleep, it is important to find what works best for calming and relaxing your body or mind before bed. So what makes essential oils useful for sleep? How do they work? Well, every essential oil has a different chemical makeup with a unique combination of chemical constituents. These chemicals are what give an essential oil its benefits. Certain chemicals can make an essential oil useful for cleansing, soothing, warming, while other chemicals might make an oil calming, invigorating, and cooling. Because each oil is taken from a different plant or plant part, each oil has a completely unique chemical profile and thus a completely unique set of benefits. By choosing essential oils with chemicals that hold relaxing, calming, or soothing benefits, it is easy to use oils to promote a peaceful environment for sleep. However, here's how it works. When you inhale the aroma of an essential oil with calming properties, it can induce a response in the body or brain for relaxation. Typically, this type of reaction helps relax the body and promote a restful night of sleep. Once you've had a good night of sleep after using a specific oil, the brain makes a connection between the smell of the oil and the quality sleep. This is called a positive association. An established positive association promotes further use of the oil in your regular bedtime routine to help you repeat the practice of a good night's sleep. When using essential oils to promote a good night of sleep, it is best to choose oils with calming, soothing, or relaxing properties. The beauty of using essential oils to help with sleep is that there are a lot of oils with calming properties to choose from. Two people can have a different reaction to the same oil, so you can experiment to see which oils work best for you and your sleeping preferences. The essential oils on this slide are some of the best oils to use to promote quality sleep because they're, they're calming, soothing, relaxing, harmonizing and grounding properties. You can also mix several oils together to create the optimal sleeping environment. So you can pick one oil, you can pick two, you can make your own blend. Um, cedarwood is a warm woody scent of cedarwood, promotes a, help, a peaceful feeling that can help the mind and body unwind before bed. Lavender is commonly used for its calming properties. The light floral aroma of lavender oil makes it useful for creating an environment conducive for peaceful sleep. Ylang Ylang. The rich floral aroma of Ylang Ylang oil can help reduce the effects of daily stress while promoting a calming environment. Now, how to use these oils? In addition to a wide variety of oils to choose from, there are also many effective ways to use essential oils to promote a good night of sleep. As we discussed, you might need to experiment with a few different oils to find the best essential oil or combination of oils to help you fall asleep. 
You also might need to experiment with different application methods until you find the routine that works best for you. This slide lists a few of the best ways to use essential oils in your bedtime routine. Now let's discuss each one of these uses in more detail to help you fully utilize essential oils for relaxation and sleep. If you are looking for an easy way to create a relaxing environment that will promote a good night's sleep, you can simply place a few drops of a common essential oil into an essential oil diffuser. The diffuser will dispense the scent of the oil around the room and create a calming, peaceful environment. Considering diffusing common oils as you get ready for bed, which I would start at least 30 minutes before you go to bed so you have plenty of time to get that aroma in the air, or keep a diffuser in your bedroom to help maintain a relaxing environment throughout the night. With most diffusers, you can choose a time setting that will keep the diffuser running, which will help you remain relaxed. You can mix several essential oils together to create your own unique diffuser blend for bedtime, or simply choose a few common essential oils and mix them together to create a tranquil environment conducive to sleep. This slide lists a few diffuser blends that can help promote a restful environment. You can experiment with your favorite oils to find a blend that you like. I personally, um, love Serenity, and I'll be talking about that. It's doTERRA's um, relaxing blend, and I will be talking about that in just a minute. But I put Serenity, and I put Vetiver, and I put it in my diffuser about a half hour before I go to bed. And when I come into the bedroom to go to sleep, it smells amazing and relaxing. So <clears throat> the next one is taking a relaxing bath or warm shower might be a part of your regular bedtime routine. However, Throwing essential oils into the mix might help calm the body and mind, promoting a better night of sleep. Consider adding a few drops of your favorite calming oil to a warm bath, or I would recommend mixing it with an Epsom salt before adding them to the bath because the Epsom salt will help soothe the skin and body and it also will help disperse the oil better because as we know, oil and water don't mix. So if you just put the oil in the water, it's just going to come right to the surface and it's not going to mix well throughout the bath water. But you certainly can do that. You just have to keep just mixing it up while you're in the bath. By placing a few drops of an oil on the floor of the shower, the oil will mix with the stream and allow you to breathe in the calming, comforting sense if you like to take a shower before you go to bed. Just be sure to place the oil away from the water path to make sure it doesn't get washed down the drain immediately. You can also keep the relaxing scents of essential oils with you throughout the night by placing a few drops of oil into your conditioner and applying it to your hair in your nightly shower. Common oils like clary sage, ylang ylang, and lavender not only have relaxing properties, but can also be beautifying for your hair. And another thing you can do too is you can make a little um, shower or bath bomb. So um, you can just, I do that, I make them up and I have them in a baggie and I'll just stick one in the shower. Of course, I do mine for um, wake up because I do my shower in the morning. So I do uplifting and wake up um, oils, not relaxing because I take mine in the morning, not at night, but you can do it either way. So as discussed, having the proper pillows, bedding, and mattress are a key to a good night's sleep. If you've already invested in a new pillow or better mattress and still find it difficult to get good rest, consider spritzing essential oils over your pillows and bedding before going to sleep. Simply combine a few drops of a relaxing essential oil or oils in a few ounces of water in a spray bottle. Then spritz some mixture over your pillows and bedding so that you can inhale a calming and comforting scent of essential oils throughout the night. This slide shows a few of the essential oil combinations that are perfect for spritzing over your bedding, but this is only the beginning. There are endless combinations. Like I said, you have to find out what you like, what your body responds to, and what do you have on hand. And this actually is the second thing I do at my bedtime. I start the fuser 30 minutes before I go to bed, roughly. And then I have a spritz bottle with Serenity that I absolutely love. And I will spritz my bedding before I go to bed. And then in the middle of the night, sometimes I wake up at 2 o'clock in the morning and I my mind gets racing and I can't settle down. I will take that bottle, spray bottle, because it's right on my bed stand. And I will spray my pillow and around me again. And it helps calm me back down and get back to sleep. Just as taking a warm bath or shower before bed can soothe and comfort the body, using a heating pad or neck wrap is a good practice when preparing for bed. You can harness the calming power of essential oils by simply adding a few drops of an essential oil to the outside fabric of a heating pad or neck wrap and place on the neck or back for warming comfort. It is also easy to make your own neck wrap with a kitchen towel and rice or flaxseed. And here's a recipe that I have shared with you that you can use. 
Very simple and very easy. Okay, topical application. Applying essential oils topically is a very effective way to prepare the body for a good night of sleep by creating a calm environment. As you apply oils to the skin, the aroma will linger for an extended period of time, allowing you to remain calm and relaxed. The bottom of the feet is one of the best places to apply essential oils before going to bed. The skin is very thick on the bottom of the feet, so it is less likely to cause irritation, but you will still be able to enjoy the aroma. The neck and shoulder, temples, and wrists are also good places to apply calming oils topically before going to bed. In addition to topical application, using calming or relaxing oils for massage before bed is a wonderful way to relax the body and mind. Massaging the shoulders, arms, back, legs, and feet with essential oils will not only put the body at ease, but will allow you to inhale the comforting aroma of essential oils at the same time. Remember, it is a good idea to dilute essential oils with a carrier oil before applying topically to avoid any irritation. Using a carrier oil will help the essential oils absorb into the skin, which helps the benefits and the scent of the oil to last a little longer. It is important to always use a carrier oil when applying oils to young or sensitive skin. So be sure to have a carrier oil on hand when applying oils to your children. And that could be coconut oil, almond oil, jojoba oil. Uh, there's all kinds of different coconut uh, carrier oils out there. Um, so just pick which one you like. Okay, <clears throat> warm teas. A warm cup of tea before bed is a tried and true sleep solution. However, adding essential oils to your bedtime tea can provide a unique relaxing experience. First, you will want to make sure the tea you are drinking is not caffeinated since these types of tea could keep you awake. Essential oils work well with herbal teas and chamomile tea is a great choice for relaxing the body and mind. You can also add bergamot oil to your tea when you want to turn it into an herbal gray. Before adding any essential oils to your tea, you will want to make sure that the oil has been approved for internal consumption. And doTERRA uses the letter A as an apple, T as in Tom, and I as in igloo when describing application methods for oil. A means to, um, aromatic use like you would in a diffuser. T means topical like massaging, and I means internal. Once you have checked that the oil is safe for internal use and you, you can add a drop to your tea, because essential oils are so potent, you won't need very much oil to add a big boost of flavor to your beverage. And, and I can say that for doTERRA oils, it's really easy to tell if they're internal because it has a supplement label on the outside of the bottle. So all you do is look at it. If it has a supplement label, then it's safe for internal. The other brands of essential oils I don't know about, so you have to do your research. Okay, in addition to the application methods we have discussed, doTERRA has designed a few products that can be useful when trying to promote a good night of sleep. These products make it even easier to enjoy the benefits that essential oils hold for rest and relaxation. Like we talked about, one of the easiest ways to use essential oils for for promoting quality sleep is diffusion. Not only are essential oil diffusers useful for creating a relaxing environment for sleep, but they can also be used for dozens of other purposes and allow you to create any kind of atmosphere you like. If you don't have an essential oil diffuser, consider purchasing one to help enhance your experience. And you can get diffusers anywhere. Um, you can get them in the store, you can get them online, you can get them through doTERRA, um, and it's just, what you like, what your budget is, what you're looking for in a diffuser, but make sure it's a um, cold water-based diffuser that works the best with essential oils. So now I'm going to be talking about some of doTERRA's blends. This one is Balance. So in addition to the single oils that we discussed, doTERRA has several propriety essential oil blends that can help create a relaxing environment for sleep. The Balance Grounding Blend is a blend of essential oils and plant extracts that can help to naturally promote relaxation and, as you probably guessed, create feelings of balance. So Terra Balance is an optimal blend to use before going to bed because it can promote feelings of peace and tranquility while providing the body with a sense of relaxation. Consider placing a few drops of it in your diffuser, apply, applying the blend topically to the neck or bottoms of the feet, or using a massage before bed. Now, if you have somebody that lives with you, see if you can kind of coerce them into giving you a massage. Hey, the next one is Breathe. This is a respiratory blend that is amazing for any kind of respiratory issues. And it can also help prepare you for a peaceful night's sleep. 
It contains essential oils like peppermint, eucalyptus, melaleuca, cardamom, and lemon to help the user maintain feeling of clear airways. We all know that we need to breathe easy and good if we're going to get some good night's sleep. But how many of you have gone to bed with a cold or allergies and you just can't breathe well? Are you going to sleep well? Nope. At least I don't. So the fresh aroma of this oil blend can help calm the senses and promote a restful night of sleep. So to enjoy the benefits of breathe at night, you can do the same thing. Add it to a diffuser, apply it topically to the chest, back, or bottoms of the feet. But to avoid sensitivity, remember you can dilute it with a carrier oil before applying it topically to the skin. Now the next one is Serenity. This is the one I keep talking about. This is my favorite nighttime relaxing blend. It's created a specially formulated essential oil. It's called the Serenity Restful Blend, designed to promote relaxation and help calm the emotions and body before bed. You can easily enjoy the calming benefits of the Serenity Blend by diffusing the oil, which I do when I add vetifer, or applying it topically or adding it to a warm bath. Now, I also do pro, um, do it topically. I have a little roll-on bottle beside my diffuser. So my routine is I put my diffuser on with the oils about 30 minutes before bed. I'll take my roll-on bottle and I'll put it on behind my ear and on, on my wrist and I'll do this and then I'll leave and finish getting ready for bed and then I'll come to bed, I'll spritz my bedding and I tell you what, doing those three things really helps relax me. You don't need to do all three, three things but that's what works for me. So in addition to the Serenity Restful Blend, doTERRA has created the doTERRA Serenity Restful Complex Soft Gels. You can see down here in the corner. Um, for when you need a little extra help falling asleep or staying asleep, this restful blend can con combine lavender oil and natural plant extracts to encourage restful sleep. This formula is designed to help you get a refreshing night of sleep without feeling sleepy the next day. And it's very easy and convenient to take if you're traveling because a lot of times the oils are you know, messy or people don't like the smell of it or whatever. So this is really easy. You don't have to worry about it spilling over in your luggage or in your purse or whatever. So taking these um, on a road trip or traveling or whatever is really easy and convenient. So that is the end of my presentation for um, Sweet Dreams. I hope this was helpful for you. I have lots of resources here over on the left. Just click on any one of them for more information. If you want to dig deeper, if you want to learn more about them, um, I have my contact information here. I also send out free weekly newsletters every week on Tuesdays. And if you would like to receive my free weekly newsletter, just send me somehow, send me your email address and I'll add you to it. There's no commitment, no pressure, no nothing. Anytime you want to unsubscribe, just send me an email and I'll take you off the list. I just like to share with people what I've learned um, because it's made such a difference in my life that I uh, want to share it with others. So if you have any questions, you want to know where to get these um, essential oils and you don't know anybody that does doTERRA, message me, reach out to me, um, any of these contact ways. I'd be happy to share with you, answer any questions that I can. I'm here to support and help. And doTERRA has amazing, amazing, unlimited information out there. You go on Facebook, you go on YouTube, you go on Instagram. They have information everywhere. So if you don't want to get it from me, just do your own research under doTERRA and you'll find hours and hours and hours of research of what they've done with their oils and how they test it and how they process it. Um, I mean, the purity of their oil and the testing of the oil goes way above and beyond what they need to do because they want to give us the purest, um, best essential oil that's going to be um, the best for our body. And how they um, source it is amazing. Look up doTERRA sourcing and you're going to get tons of information on how they source their oils and how they help all these third world countries with their income by sourcing directly from the best source for that product. So I'm going to stop sharing my screen now. All right, so here I am back. Thanks again for joining me. I hope you guys have a great day and a good week. And let me know if I can help. Have a great day, everybody.